Marriage takes work. Keeping that flame alive. It goes out pretty quick. Ultimately, a couple can survive the rocky road ahead if they've got one thing. Comfortable shoes. A firm foundation of love. And a 42-inch plasma TV. What? You watch it too? Sex. Problems in marriage always boil down to sex. Really? Sure. As long as we men get sex, we can put up with anything in marriage. The fights, the nagging, you name it. But what happens when the sex dries up? Like, what do you do? Shop. Shopping is the best antidote to lack of sex. I just spend as much of Warren's money as I possibly can. What about intimacy? Only chicks need intimacy. All we need is just porn and electrical goods. Actually, just, just electrical goods, really. I just feel that the flames died. We've come to the end of our shelf life. Okay, you want to know the secret? How we make it work? Let me show you something. Ta-da! Oh, God. <laughs> You're naked. Yeah, yes I am. How do you like that bad boy? Let me show you something. This will cheer you up. Oh, my God. Is it? It sure is. Prada Spring Collection. Oh, you look fabulous. I do. <laughs> is that? Yes, it is. One foot of uncut prime rib. And a couple of meatballs. And a hot dog bun. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Something happens to men when children come along. My sex life died the day our first child was born. Something happens to women. This light bulb goes off. You give them your seed, they make it grow, and then they chuck you out on the street. It's a cruel world. And when you've got children, who needs sex? We need sex. It's fundamental to our survival as men. I don't know, Warren. This is serious. Okay, we're kind of at an impasse, and if we can't make it work, we're gonna end up Divorce. Hey, do not mention that word. Divorce is not an option. Eh, heck, you don't even have kids yet. I got news for you, buddy. The grass is not greener on the other side. Okay, but I don't even know what to do anymore to make it interesting. Wear something sexy. Like a fireman's outfit. Women love firemen. Put on some killer underwear, call him up to the bedroom, and then... Then you can get your big hose out and stick it in. And a pair of Jimmy Choo's. I'd rather wear my own. <laughs> you gotta spice it up. <laughs> Just, you know, keep it real, home slice. Thanks, Puff Daddy. Look, did you uh, want a copy of that? No, no, no. Sure. No thanks. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, for Christ's sake, Martin. That's when I had a brilliant idea. If Martin couldn't satisfy me, maybe someone else could. I am sitting right here, you know. Two words. Toe jam. <laughs> uh, she loves it when I suck her toes. <laughs> I do. Uh, uh, I love it. She loves it. <laughs> oh, absolutely no sex on the Shabbos. Friday sundown to Saturday sundowns out. Nick's on the Shabbos. He should be so lucky. I'm not sure if I should say, really. Uh, can I say? Oh, go on. <laughs> well, Henry likes me to pee on him. <laughs> if you ever want to try it, red wine gives a wonderful, delicious odour and colour. It does, won't it? Doesn't it? Very nice. Mm, fruity. <laughs> <laughs> Toes like weakness. Absolutely enormous. Yeah. Big. Fat, fat, hairy, Wieners. sausages, sausages, Wieners. sausages, Wieners. sausages, sausages. I cut your hair, don't I? Eh? <laughs> yeah, you cut my hair. Yeah, we're just a normal, average, everyday couple. Yeah, just your usual, average, everyday couple, I suppose. Yeah. I found I was having to do a lot of international travelling, which was just tiring. So, mm. well, after we sold the law firm, we decided to move to the country. Mm. I mean, it meant he could spend more time with the kids, so... Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that lovely, Martin? Yeah. Yeah. Jummy Dodger. I beg your pardon? Jummy Dodger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mm. 
Screaming orgasm or jism on the face? Ooh. Now what's in jism on the face again? It's gin, coconut milk, and a little bit of froth on the head. I'll have a jism on the face, thanks. Okay. Anyone else? Darling, I'll have a gorilla fart. One gorilla fart and one jism on the face. I always thought jism was a place in Kent. This is a lovely bar. It's an antique. China, misohoni. <laughs> Clitoris. Clitoris has eight letters. So? You're only allowed seven. <laughs> Here, like this. Part where we close the door and say good night. Oh. Coffee? Oh, we'd uh, we'd best be off. <clears throat> well, it was fun. <clears throat> sure. Art project. It's been a few weeks. I'm still shitting loose stools, but you, know, you just chalk these things up to experience. This isn't really meant for men. No. Well, not in this house, at least. So it's good to have an extra hand in the kitchen. Gardez votre cheddar, il me donne des cauchemars. Encore moins de Stilton, folie anglo-saxonne. Il est futile de vous acharner, vous ne pourrez pas l'améliorer. Ne le mettez pas dans la friture. Manger nature, le roi des fromages de la terre. 